Gear up for the new season with a new Kia from Luther Kia of Bloomington. Right off the bat, Kia of Bloomington has over 100 new Kias, plus more coming every day. Swing away with Sorrento, Sportage, or Telluride. Visit us in Bloomington or at LutherKiaofBloomington.com. It's time for Twins Final Pitch, presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington. Alongside Tim Lodner, I'm Audra Martin. The Twins were hoping to sweep the Houston Astros for the first time in 10 seasons after a first, you know, exciting first two games on the home opening weekend. Unfortunately, they come up short. A big part of that, Hunter Brown for Houston, a impressive young arm, got the best of them. Just two hits for the Twins, one earned run. He was really good today, and you got to give him some credit. A little bit of unfamiliarity with Hunter Brown for the Minnesota Twins offensively. They now have the, uh, him in their book, and so you, you like to think that they're going to be a little bit better next time that they face this young man. But all in all, a really good opening series. Good opening series for the fans. They see a walk-off. Uh, they see a really good ball game yesterday where the Twins uh, explode offensively. Maybe a little bit of a dud today, but a pretty good pitching performance by Tyler Malley. But offensively, Twins only managing two hits, but two wins against the world champions uh, that they had zero wins against last year. I'd say it's a pretty good start to the season. Chaz McCormick, a huge part of the win for the Houston Astros. Four RBI from him this afternoon, the second such game of his career. So Twins moved to 6-3 and three on the season, 4-6 four and six for the Astros. But if you're talking starting pitching, it's been a good stretch for Minnesota. Twin starters have gone five-plus innings in each of the first nine games of a season for the first time since 2005. So a lot to like if you are Rocco Baldelli. Yeah, I strongly like what I saw this series from our team. And uh, I consider that a, a good series um, win for us. Uh, not satisfied with the series, but I think overall, I think our guys did a nice job in the series, competed very well against a good uh, good pitching staff and a good lineup. And, um, you know, if you go out there and play like that against teams like that, those are very positive signs. The homestand continues with a Central Division showdown against the Chicago White Sox. Dylan Cease will kick things off against Kenta Maeda. Lance Lynn, Pablo Lopez in Game 2, and finally Lucas Giolito and Sonny Gray will wrap it up in the series finale Wednesday afternoon. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow afternoon from Target Field. For Tim Laudner, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Twins Final Pitch presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington.